This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. Got my good friend Johnny Van Dusen back with us. Thank you very much for joining us, Johnny. You were just here a couple of weeks ago. We were talking <laughs> about winter weather and houses. You're doing such an amazing thing right now. There's, a, there's horrific things going on in your, Ukraine and you're helping them. Yeah, there really is some crazy stuff going on over there. I couldn't imagine, you know, having to deal with that on the front lines or even in your country, let alone, you know. Uh, so, yeah, for sure, I'm, I'm trying to gather some more goods. So last week I took a shipment of about 60 pairs of work boots, um, a basket full of first aid stuff, um, hard hats. I, I think I had 10 or 11 hard hats, just a whole bunch of great stuff that the community brought to me. I take it to Ottawa and there's actually a, a, a Ukrainian Canadian group there. They have to box it by weight. It can only be up to, I think, 30 kilograms per box. They're big boxes, 30 kilograms max per box. And then they they have to get it from there to Toronto. And that's where it gets on a plane that heads to Poland. And then it's got to make the journey back into Ukraine. So, I mean, I was thinking five to seven days through somebody I had chat with. And then it turns out it's more like 10 days to get there. So, you know, not the first order I ship won't be there until potentially tomorrow. And that was uh, from, sorry, no, a week from tomorrow. Right. So it's just, it's mind boggling to me that people are going through this. So I have a very good friend of mine who's uh, Canadian Ukrainian. She lives in uh, Ottawa and I met her through our Dobermans. That's how we met. And so she just had messaged me and asked, would you happen to have a pair of work boots that you'd be willing to donate? And literally that's how it started. That's how it got started. I reached out and my first post, I think I had 138 shares on Facebook or something like that. And people just kept bringing stuff. So made my deliver Saturday morning. Um, and side note, my, my friend who uh, was here and orchestrating this decided. Uh, it's very emotional. It is. You, can, you yeah. can't even imagine, I, you know, uh, we look at the news, we look at social media and people have lost their homes. They're, yeah. they're separated families. You know, I, I can't imagine yeah. leaving a husband, a brother, a, an uncle, a father, and That's leaving it. and let yeah. them to stay to fight. And, and you've lost your home and you, she, you don't even know where you're going. You're just walking. She to, decided to last minute to jump on a plane and head to Poland to gather her family to bring them back. <laughs> so, wow. Woo! Yeah. So, yeah. She's and and you know, we, we watch aside. this, but Johnny, you actually know people too. You know, yeah. you know people that are yeah. right involved oh, in that. Right. So. So she stepped aside and hooked me up with her friends who are still doing it. So I still want to do this. <laughs> Saturday, I get back. Uh, I've, been to, I've been to Ottawa for, you know, half the day kind of thing. I get back, the phone starts, the messages start. And, and I think it was Sunday afternoon, I had six pair, six more pairs of boots sitting here again. So like, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, and you I haven't am, stopped at Boots. You haven't stopped at Boots. Look at the stuff no, behind no. you. We're actually shying away from Boots a little bit. It's, it's to do with the weight and the, and the cost of shipping and stuff, of course. So what they really need, and this is right from, I don't know if you saw my interview on Hometown News that yep. I did with, with Stefan from, from Ottawa there. Um, they need thermal clothes. It's cold out, you know, and so they're out there every day long, all day long, trying to, to keep their country safe. And, you know, they can't do laundry and they can't necessarily shower and all that good stuff. So, they need clothing. So uh, I'm leaning more towards like, you know, winter work gloves. Uh, TSC sells them for about $11 a pair or something like that. Um, long johns, uh, thermal, even thermal long sleeve shirts, which I have a whole bunch of. Uh, a friend of mine in the boating world, um, Mr. Harrison, thank you. He um, he uh, sent me $125 yesterday to just go shopping with. So I, so I did. I went and bought, uh, I think I got... Um, uh, 12 pairs of winter socks. I got uh, four pairs of long johns, four, four thermal shirts underneath that too. So, I mean, you know, it, it can go a long way. And I, and I would just ask anybody that if you can, just the smallest thing could really help. Even if, you know, you can kind of see over my shoulder here, a really, really gracious lady spent a whole bunch of money yesterday and, and bought out Walmart for um, personal hygiene items, First aid items are, are huge on their list, obviously. And um, even went so far as to get the kids some coloring books and some and some little art supplies and stuff like that. Like, thank you so much to my community for, for doing this stuff. And you're still collecting. You're still collecting. Yeah, still going. And yeah. I will keep going. I'll go, I'm, for, for my schedule, it works for me to go Saturday morning. It works for them too. So I will go every Saturday morning. I'll drive up to Ottawa, 
drop the stuff off there. And uh, I even asked the girl yesterday, I have a new contact now since my friend is away. Um, uh, so now I talked to Kate, uh, my friend's name is Marina. And uh, so uh, when I talked to Kate, I said, you know, like, is it okay? Do you want us to box this stuff? Said, nope, we'll handle all that. And they put it all by group, label the box, obviously for customs and all that stuff. And then, it, yeah, that it, they have a system in place that I should have, and my wife was on the camera last week uh, in my interview and I should have had her pan around. You wouldn't believe that room. The people are just, you could hear the noise. People are just running like crazy, getting it all organized. It's so cool. Yeah. So cool. And, and, and I so appreciate everybody's help for sure. So how do people get stuff to you, Johnny? Well, I mean, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. Most people know me. Uh, you can reach out. You can find me as DJ Johnny five. You can find me on hometown news. You can find me on my own personal account. And I'm fine with that. It's Johnny Van Dusen. Uh, and I think I have uh, my profile page is a Canadian and Ukrainian flag kind of crossed like this. So it's pretty easy to pick me up. I'm sure there's many Johnny Van Dusen's. Uh, and then um, and same thing, it's johnny.bandusen on uh, Instagram. So I'm not too hard to find. And if I remember, you have a list on, on your Facebook page too. Yeah, if you search through, I, uh, the list the list is there. I should, I'll should i put it up again just to, just to make sure it's there. But Or I could send it to you guys to put in this. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is there. It's basically uh, thermal clothing. Uh, it's uh, so your long johns and gloves and socks and stuff like that. And then first aid supplies is huge. And then hygiene supplies i mean i mean shampoos and and, and, and even things as simple as uh oh I shouldn't say brand names but uh headache medicine yes. you know what i mean mm -hmm. all that stuff that we take for granted right you know yeah and and, and they need it they what about pet stuff. food yeah and pet food too it's got to be unopened uh you know on and not we get back into the weight game like uh, mm -hmm. how heavy it is again uh, so yeah i'm i'm not taking that lead necessarily but yeah, certainly i will ship it for sure Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I thank you for doing this, Anna, and it is a devastating thing that's going on. Anybody that's seen any of the pictures or anything, God bless the people that are standing there, you know, watching people come over the border, watching people come in from air yeah. airports, holding signs saying, I have one room, I have two rooms, Listen, I have a place, I'll take five people, I'll Poland take Poland and all those countries, like, huge shout out to Poland, come on, like, yeah. Man, to, I mean, I don't, they're in the millions now. I mean, it's crazy, and thanks, so thanks to them too, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and leaving loved ones behind too to fight too. That's it. Yeah. God bless. Crazy. Them. We we couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. No. I'm Fifty one years old. I never, I've never had to live this. So no. it's crazy. No, yeah. no, no. Let's let's hope it gets done soon. For sure, for sure. And God bless people like you too, Johnny, for helping yeah. them out from all the way over here in Canada, in Smith Falls, Ontario. Thank you very much for doing that. So, again, how do people get a hold of you, Johnny? Yeah, reach out to me on Facebook. I mean, uh, my email is uh, uh, Johnny Five Van Dusen, written out J uh, F I V E five in the middle. Johnny Five Van Dusen at gmail .com. If you want to hit me up there, you can. Um, but yeah, find me on Facebook, uh, Johnny Van Dusen on Facebook or DJ Johnny Five. I can get messages there too. Instagram, same thing, Johnny Dot Van Dusen on there. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for supporting Thanks, the people of Ukraine.